which is Poland's third largest city but still overlooked by tourists. If you are looking for a place with amazing architecture, street art, hipster bars and tasty food, Wuch is perfect for you. Here are the 15 best things to see and do in Wuch. Hey everyone, I am in Luch in Poland, um, which is a city that is not yet very famous, um, but it is actually um, worth visiting. So I'm going to show you where you have to go, what you have to eat, what you have to see, what you have to do, and I hope you enjoy this video. Piotrkowska Street is 4.2 km long and one of the biggest shopping streets in the world. But there is way more to see than just shops. This street houses palaces, villas, churches, all in different architectural styles. It even has a part called Hollywood, the Polish Walk of Fame, where you can find the brass stars of Polish actors, directors and other people of the film industry. After all, Łódź is home to one of the best film schools in the world. Near the town hall, the street is paved with hundreds of cobblestones with the names of the inhabitants of Łódź. But also exploring Piotrkowska side streets is definitely one of the best things you can do in Łódź. Like the Passage Rosie, a street with houses covered in mirrors shaped like roses. Or street art locations like the artistic yard called Birth of Day which consists of 260 stoneware tiles and is a recreation of the painting by Siutmak. The art installation Neighbors is also cool to check out, showing little suited men on terraces holding telephones, symbolizing the social isolation and disconnection from the real world. There are countless murals to admire in and around Piotrkowska Street from quite famous artists. The most impressive I found the Wuch city mural and the mural showing how Wuj was in the older days. Off Piotrkowska is a hipster area constructed from old cotton mill buildings turned into trendy restaurants, bars, clubs and shops. Wuj also houses the most beautiful tram station I've ever seen. Because of its colors, it is called the Unicorn Stable. Underground, you can visit the Museum of the Sewer. This underground canal system used to store water to clean the sewage. The Center of Science and Technology is installed at the former heat and power plant of Wuj. Here you can play with all different kinds of installations and see how the plant used to work. It also houses the most modern planetarium of Poland. To be the most important place for textile in Europe, so it is not surprising a lot of museums and meeting places can be found in old factory buildings, like the Museum of the Factory, with its old textile machines. You can visit its rooftop to get a fantastic view on the complete Manufactura site, which is definitely one of the highlights to visit in Wuj. Manufactura is an impressive shopping entertainment center with museums, shops, movie theaters, restaurants and anything you can think of. It is the most extraordinary revitalization of a former factory complex in Wuj. The Museum of Textile Industry History is another former textile factory 
where you can learn about fabric printing and its history. The Museum of the City of Wuj was in renovation when I was there, so I wasn't able to experience it at the fullest, but it is the neo-baroque place of Poznansky, one of the textile kings, and you can visit the over-the-top decorated rooms of the palace. The Jewish cemetery of Wuj is one of the biggest in the world. It contains about 230,000 graves. It has a very spooky vibe with all its broken gravestones. The graves that stood out for me the most were the ones of the King of Textile, Poznansky, the King of Crime and the Ghetto Fields, where 45,000 Jews who died in the ghetto during the war are buried. Not too far from the cemetery you can visit Radegast station, which was used to transport the Jews from the Wood ghetto to the extermination camps during the war. Now back to happier places. The Fabrichna train station is the biggest of Wuj and its modern architecture comprises a lot of glasswork and metal. I love the cartoon walled waiting rooms. One of the most colorful buildings in Wuj must be the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. A cute little orthodox church built during the period when Poland was still part of the Russian Empire. One of the best things to do in Wuj in September is definitely the Light Move Festival. This huge light festival shows artistic illuminations and multi-format displays in 2D and 3D mapping technology on monuments and the facades of buildings spread all over the town. It is an absolute must. Food, of course, shouldn't be forgotten in this best things to do in Wuch list, because the food in Wuch is absolutely delicious. You should definitely try the deer tartar and the pierogi, those were my absolute favorites. And that is it. I hope you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and more information and a map can be found on my blog worldwanderista.com. Please subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any new videos. See you soon!